Yo, what is going on, guys? I hope you're having an amazing day. Look, I played basketball my whole life. I played in high school, played in college. I unfortunately got hurt, uh, so I couldn't play any longer. But I love basketball. And some people are going to hate me for this, but ever since LeBron got in the league, I've followed him since he was 18 years old. Started on Cleveland, bounced around to Miami, uh, Cleveland, Lakers. I mean, he's I've, I've followed him. There's always a debate, right? MJ, LeBron, who's better? And personally, they're two different eras, right? I mean, MJ was m definitely a better score in some senses because that's what he did. He was a three, right? He had an amazing, a scary demeanor to when he played, right? No one wanted to play him. Everyone feared him, right? So MJ, got to give credit where it's due. MJ is an unreal basketball player. LeBron, he's a better overall basketball player, right? He plays point. He plays wing. He can play forward, he can guard centers. He's an all-around, I think, statistical-wise, too, if you look at him, he's better in that sense. They're both amazing basketball players. But the biggest story for the past couple weeks has been Bronny James. And it's interesting. He's been so out of the spotlight for so many years, and I think LeBron did that on purpose because he knew how much pressure was on him at 18 years old getting into the league. And he knew his sons, Bronny and Bryce, were going to have that same, those same expectations because they're his sons. So LeBron sort of kept Bronny, no interviews, no videos, no social media for a long time. But from Bronny getting drafted to the Lakers, playing with his dad, which I think is an amazing thing. It's the first father-son duo ever in NBA. There's a lot of backlash, too. And a lot of people saying, did Bronny deserve it? Did he just get it because of LeBron? So there's a lot of speculation. I personally, I hope he does. It'll take a couple years for him to fully develop, just like it does most NBA players. LeBron was a freak of nature right when he became part of the NBA. For most players, it takes a couple years to get situated, get acclimated with the pace. Because going from high school ball, just from personal experience, going from high school ball to college basketball, it's a totally different pace. Now, you can only imagine going from college ball to NBA basketball. It's completely different. So, a lot of speculation on Bronny. Did he deserve it? Did he really deserve to get drafted to the Lakers? Over the years, I have made videos tracking LeBron James Jr. Bronny, from 13 years old to now a NBA player. The Los Angeles Lakers select Bronny James. He was ranked 10th in his class at 13 years old, a player who played beyond his years, 19th best in his senior year of high school, a floor general with a great shot and elite defense. I've been excited to see how he would develop. But I have never seen a more confusing prospect than this. From going undrafted in ESPN's mock draft to maybe the 17th pick to 55th a month before the draft, Lakers, Sixers, Suns, it was all over the place. Get it together! And now he got drafted to the Lakers. Congratulations to Bronny. But the stigma is always going to be the kid who got into the NBA because of his dad. When in reality, just one year later, he could have made it off his own talent. He doesn't deserve this negativity. Memes are going crazy. Daddy, I'm open. What's Bronny going to call his dad? Daddy? Oh man. Boy, ain't no way, boy. But the script was written. And the situation got really so much messy hate, with LeBron and so Rich much Paul hate. pulling strings. Do you a guys think he deserved so to get drafted? Attention that Do you guys think he deserved to get drafted? Do you think it was because of his dad? Let me know in the comments what you think. Because there's both sides. A lot of people saying, Bronny, yeah, he was drafted in the second round at the 55, 55th pick. It was all because of his dad. Some people say he's got potential. Like I said earlier, it takes a couple years to get situated and really grow as a ball player. Um, so he was, it was right for them to draft him second round. Let me know what you guys think. ESPN released his draft combine highlights? Damn. And for a while, he was living up to it. One of the most famous teenagers ever, down to earth streaming, even though he was facing this. LeBron still spank you. Nah. I wish I could get spanked by LeBron. 
I can take it this far. Yo! Yeah. We've seen Michael Jordan's son Marcus get to the college stage a bit off name too and then fizzle out. And even he averaged more points. Bronny shouldn't be here. And yet his potential has always been sky high. Enough to validate contention. We'll get to his upside, but Bronny wasn't ready for the draft. He should have never declared. Yet eventually, he would have developed into an NBA player. So, how good is Bronny actually? What is up, dudes, that's ballers players? It's your boy MJ. Everyone's gonna talk about Bronny. It's and crazy how much similar they look slide, and how they play. Somehow, everyone kept missing the point. And so, you get the wildcard video. Also, I saw Bronny in Soho yesterday. I was about to go up to you, but you were vibing and then dip. Happy for you, bro, but still need to do this analysis. At first, Bronny was compared to his dad, LeBron. But even at 15, it was apparent that while they may have similar traits and tendencies of high IQ basketball, getting players involved. And just so everyone knows, so obviously, you know, when LeBron was playing in high school, the competition was still good, right? But basketball has evolved so much now that kids you're seeing in high school now are seven feet that can play, that can shoot, that can handle the ball. It, it'll continue. The skill gap will continue to increase the younger they are, uh, the longer we go. So not to say LeBron didn't play good people back in the day, but I've seen it. I've seen seventh graders and they're playing like they're in high school, end of high school, going into college. So the skill that's being introduced to the game now is only getting better and it will continue to get better. Involved, LeBron was a freak athlete that Bronny just didn't develop into, nor did Bronny play in systems where he was the main option. LeBron was selling out crowds because of how good he was and Bronny was riding the bench more. The only thing that was better was his jump shot, but that isn't saying the most. However, that is a unfair comparison because LeBron James is quite literally one of the best high schoolers ever. 100%. Bronny didn't show much during his high school years because he didn't really play much, buried under other NBA prospects like Brandon Boston Jr. and Amari Bailey, who did make the NBA, but he was always well regarded. College was his chance to finally show a bit of growth in his game because he physically stopped growing and ended at six foot three. <clears throat> that was a lie. Six foot one and a half. Everyone wanted to see his athleticism, his playmaking, just him doing more than 15 minutes a night in Sierra Canyon. And then tragedy struck. Bronny suffered a cardiac arrest during practice Ooh, in July 24, 2023 and was that's admitted scary. to the ICU. Thankfully, after a day, he was doing much better. Before a month, we weren't even sure if he would be able to return to basketball. See, Bronny was diagnosed with a congenital heart defect. But in December, fortunately, he was cleared for a full return to basketball. But the timing couldn't have been any worse. We were robbed of an opportunity to see what Bronny was capable of because a majority of the season was spent in Bronny just working his way back after a high without being able to train shot, with the team before the season. This that. also hurt him because he didn't get more time to develop his own game. His subpar averages of 4.8 points on 36% from the field, 2.8 rebounds, 2.1 assists. All right, is anyone going into the draft with these averages? What? But we couldn't definitively attribute this to his game or his health or just him not getting enough reps. That's why before the draft, we had articles and takes that were all over the place. From Bronny could be the safest pick to will he even get drafted? In strong part because two years ago, LeBron said he'd go wherever Bronny would, but also because Bronny just hasn't had the opportunity to show us. It doesn't mean that he doesn't have it, but we're all speculating. Speculating so much so that he's now in the NBA. But his timeline should have never been this. Now LeBron through Rich Paul has went back on what he put out in the world, saying that he's off the idea of playing with Bronny. Why? 
I can't definitively say that Bronny is or isn't an NBA prospect. This draft class has also been considered by many to be weak. Come on, man. I hope they're wrong, but simply Come put, on. Bronny just doesn't fit right now. But there's a narrative that LeBron, that cuts sports media, want to fulfill. LeBron and Bronny being the first father-son duo in NBA history That's to play crazy. at the same time is kind of mind-boggling. And for that to happen, Bronny needed to be in the draft this year. At least since LeBron doesn't know exactly when his last season would be and that this goal has seemingly been the driving force. Bronny foregoed his college eligibility and that's what has me a bit angry. Because what should have happened was Bronny staying an additional year at USC, working his way up through the draft rankings through his play. It's not like he had no shot. In fact, I think some of the stuff we've seen from Bronny actually looks incredible. When you're totally. younger, hype helps get eyes to get scouts to actually come to the games. It's almost become a prerequisite in the media age. No doubt being LeBron's son helped, but hype doesn't lead to higher rankings. It just leads to the ability to get ranked. Bronny impressed in his younger years, even in the McDonald's All-American game, one of the biggest crucial high school games and practice sessions, especially for NBA scouts, Bronny showed out. 15 points, game high 4 assists, and what the NBA scouts said was promising. Bronny won't get drafted because he's LeBron's kid, he'll get drafted because he's an NBA player. He works hard, goes about his business, and is tough. It made him a four-star recruit going into college. Remember Nasir Little made a name for himself during the McDonald's All-American game by stopping Zion and immediately improved his draft stock? This is what real basketball is. It's something NBA players even remark about. So Bronny performed under pressure. Let's actually look at the footage. In high school, Bronny stood out in his ability to play, make, defend, and had bunnies. Quack. Damn, he windmilling? Dunking is looking easy at his height. He has a 40.5 inch vertical, 6'7 half wingspan, 210 pounds. His body is NBA ready, which shows he would be 6'2 half 6'3. His on ball defense was suffocating. Essentially, he played winning basketball, made the right plays, and despite the not crazy 14.2 points, 5.5 rebounds, 2.4 assists, 1.8 steals, no advanced stats in high school, he was 20th in his class. Seemed like a late first round pick by several scouts. They liked everything he was bringing to the game. In fact, in high school, he was actually ahead of Reed Shepard, close to Rob Dillingham, both of which would be drafted in the lottery this year. And in some key matchups, Bronny outperformed some of the top guys in this year's draft. Like at the Nike Hoop Summit when he played for a Team USA Select team versus the world, going at Reese's Shade, the eventual number one overall pick. A game filled with eventual first round picks. Ron Holland, Jared McCain, Isaiah Collier, and Bronny looked like he belonged. Playing great perimeter defense, finishing tough and ones, that doesn't make him the better prospect compared to those guys, but it shows his capabilities. But then there's the glazing like grabbing the huge defensive rebound in the final seconds, or the entire article using Bronny James in the headline over the actual- Bronny's got potential, man. I mean, you can tell, I mean, he, there's glimpses of him. He's got good defense, he's got a good shot. He's obviously athletic. People are already bagging him. He's played one game. Yeah, I think his knee just got hurt. People are bagging him for one game. Yeah, he had four points, right? Which isn't impressive. It's his first game in the NBA league, right? In summer league, I get it. But like I said, the pace is so much different. Every time from high school to college, NBA, G League, it is so much different. And people who don't play sports don't really understand that. They just like, oh... You should be getting 15, 20 points. It was like, no, the competition, the pace, it's all different. And you have no idea until you play that how much different that is. Well, best player on the floor, Ron Holland. Chill with that. And that's where it becomes even harder to dissect through some of the BS. That isn't anyone's fault, but the media. Even at the age of 10, there were people scouting Bronny, and LeBron said that should be a violation. 
And he's right, yet Bronny's college play dropped him off the boards. In 25 games played, he had the worst averages of his entire class of anyone who was actually ranked ahead of him. If you watch the USC games, you can see that Bronny just wasn't well incorporated in the offense, probably due to the late start and also because USC's top recruit that year was another guard, Isaiah Collier. So Bronny was never going to be the focal point. And as USC coach Andy Enfield would say, after games, we just went with our veterans down the stretch, but he has continued to improve as a player. But also, Bronny was playing more off ball as a combo guard. His handles were good, but not great. His shot looked pretty, but fluky. Soft touch around the rim, but not consistent. His defense, yeah, that was there. And even when he had a start for USC, he was unable to really create too much offense. Yes, he made the right plays, passes off mismatches. Beautiful pass and the basket. But it wasn't him creating problems for a defense. You get the winning plays, like boxing out a big man, a pass that got the defender not knowing where the ball was. That was a really nice pass. It almost fooled. Taking charges. You can tell he wants it. And understand, averaging above 10 points a game in this year's draft as a freshman got you consideration. All this to say, Bronny can develop into a true NBA player. At 100%. every stage, the upside has been there. His progression has been in line with all the NBA prospects of this year's draft besides the crucial college year and that showed in the draft combine scrimmages where scouts I think said he went like 19 for point guard based on his size but he can't run an offense he's handicapped as an undersized shooting guard because he can't shoot zero four on threes on one day one for three the other day needs screens to create space and his only scoring came on paint touch floaters and can only go left his strength is supposed to be defensively but he's a switch matchup. Every bigger player who switched on him scored. Necessarily a future all-star? Probably not. In the NBA, he'll be able to develop behind so much the hate, scenes, bro. but will he get enough reps in? Will he be able to improve in-game? I believe it actually hurts him at the stage he's in. Maybe I'm in the minority, but I think Bronny would have made it to the NBA eventually if he had just gotten a chance to improve. But now it's always going to be LeBron guy's son drafted. He's living in his dad's shadow and he does not deserve that. He seems like a great person and has handled the pressure so well. Let him make his own name because he's capable of it. I want Brian to succeed just like I want every one of these players. Look, realistically, LeBron's only going to be playing maybe two, three years, right? At the most, I think he just signed his contract for two years. So maybe three years Bronny's 19 years old getting the league LeBron's been doing this for 21 years Bronny's gonna be, get his time right yeah I mean I think the reason they just got drafted was more so to play together Bronny's gonna be playing by himself for a lot of years to come so I think I think it'll work out he's got time he's got time to build and then to work on it and what I like about Bronny too is he's humble right he's humble he works hard he knows that he's got the last name James and there's a lot of there's some big shoes to fill but he says I put my head down I go to work I work hard and I get it done you know and I build and that's all you can do right there's to succeed bro I just want good hoops so yes Bronny is not a NBA player level right now but he's so close and he can be but shit he's so confusing because we just haven't seen enough of him the only enough case wash out goes to an OG big wiggy appreciate you Wildcard vid in progress for next week. Hint, look at Curry Man, not generation. Video on Le GM right here. Yeah, solid video. I think um, this guy made some good points. I'm going to post this video too uh, for, for video credit. But he's right. I mean, Bronny's a good ball player. He's got potential. It's going to take time to build. Just like it does most players. LeBron is NMJ, Kobe. It actually took Kobe some time to build too. LeBron and MJ are, and MJ, right? He got cut from his high school basketball team. So LeBron is one of the very few, the 1% exceptions that come right out of the gate, you know, bull rushing. So anyway, if you guys um, let me know what you think about Bronny James, right? Did he make it? Did he deserve to get drafted? Um, is he going to fill those shoes? Not obviously to the level LeBron has, but 
in some sense does he have potential to play i think he does but let me know what you guys think in the comments hope you guys have an amazing day peace